the following slap repair will be viewed from the posterior mid-glenoid portal, an anterior superior portal, and an anterior mid-glenoid portal are established using dry dock or hex flex cannulas. Prepare a healing surface for the labrum and biceps anchor by debriding the superior glenoid neck. Insert the instability drill guide through the anterior superior portal and into the joint. Position the guide superior to the articular cartilage, just under the center point of the biceps attachment. Drill a pilot hole using the appropriately sized press FT drill bit, stopping when the distal depth mark sits below the bone surface. And the proximal depth stop makes contact with the drill guide. Prior to insertion, align the vertical suture eyelet of the press FT to face toward the biceps tendon and superior labrum. Pass the press FT implant in through the drill guide and into the pilot hole. Use a mallet to advance the implant until the distal depth mark on the driver is below the surface of the bone. Release the suture from the driver cleats and remove the driver and drill guide from the joint. With a crochet hook, retrieve the two sutures nearest the glenoid side of the implant eyelet, one of each suture color, and pull them back into the anterior mid-glenoid cannula. Utilizing a switching stick, the sutures are then stored outside the cannula. Pull the remaining two suture limbs closest to the labrum into the same anterior mid-glenoid cannula. Use a spectrum crescent hook and super shuttle relay to pass two suture limbs from the anterior mid-glenoid cannula through the labrum directly behind the center of the two biceps tendon attachment and out the anterior superior portal. Using a crochet hook, Retrieve one of the limbs of suture from outside the anterior mid-glenoid portal. Using the spectrum crescent hook, shuttle this second limb of suture back through the labrum, just adjacent to the anterior attachment of the biceps and closer to the glenoid, resulting in an anterior mattress stitch. Complete the anterior portion of the repair by tying the arthroscopic knot and cutting the excess suture with the katana suture cutter. Be sure to keep the post and knot away from the articular surface. Repeat these steps for the posterior mattress stitch and probe the completed repair.